Hello everybody, TJ Horsko riding into another um trucker dash cam. Um one of my dash cam trucker dash cams has gotten nearly it's gotten around six thousand views in about three weeks, so I really appreciate that. Um thank you. So I think I'll do another one. So let's see. Remember to keep like, commenting, and subscribing. And let's see what um these poor truckers get themselves into this time just trying to do their job. <clears throat> Here we go. This video was made with the best videos uploaded on this channel this month. Damn it. We'll hit him next time. Okay, trucker. Okay, pick a lane there, trucker. What the heck was that? I mean, that truck wasn't like too. Oh, we're gonna brake check now? And you're gonna brake check his ass? Why do people wanna brake check semis? Have you lost your ever loving mind? Left lane's left ended. ended. Why would and you for two and, two and a half miles. miles. Here comes the car. He's gonna, gonna cut, cut me, me off. Wow, 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 wow. That was some sandbags, sandbags and barriers. <laughs> you, you, you think I'm gonna, like gonna, gonna pull, pull over, over for you? For you? Look at his Look hood, though. though. Look at his Look hood all smashed up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, trucker. Really? Uh, okay. I was making delivery in my truck in an alleyway, and I was about to close my box, and this car passes my truck. <gasps> okay, dude. Do what you want. Do what you want. Oh, it's a chick. It's a girl. I thought nothing of it until I heard her. Oh, what the F. That's when I come around and you can see what happens from there. Well, it's coming to there for a reason. All of this stemmed because she was upset. I was blocking the end of the alley, but there are three other exits out of the alley beside the one I was at, which were all empty. <laughs> well, of course, she wants to do it her way. She's a Karen, apparently. Karen's got a Karen. <laughs> oh, we got to throw the cone at the dude. Really? In the end, she was charged with assault for throwing my cones at me. And I chose not to charge her for damage to property as my cones were okay in the end. I mean, those cones are tough. They get hit by cars and survive, so, you know. Her throwing him is not really going to damage him. Now, if it hit him, hit the driver, it'd be a different story. Goodness gracious. Squeeze on in there. Because we know you're going to. This Prius driver cuts in front of the line and right in front of me, then decided to sit at the green light, flips me off for honking. Then he can't decide which way. So I honked again, and he flipped me off again. Pick a direction. Pick a direction. You can go straight or right. Light is green. Pick a direction. Pick a direction. There you go. Good job. You picked a direction. I'm trying to yell at him, not you. He's an asshole. Who's yelling? Trucker tries to ram car into the wall. This is why you don't mess with trucks, man. This is why you don't mess with trucks. I don't know if that was intentional or he just didn't see the car and he was trying to move over a little bit. I don't know, but still. 
that's why you don't want to be next to these big trucks, man. Their their vision is actually not as good as you think. Just because they're up high, they can see more, but they're also got bigger blind spots. So come on, people. What are we honking at? Have no clue why why his problem was. That's what be what his problem is. Proofread, people. Oh, we're gonna brake check now. We got three lanes of open traffic, and we're gonna freaking brake check. Okay. Got it. You weren't. Dude. Really? Really? Can you not see the big ass rig right in front of you? Right beside you? Good grief, people. Good grief. Oh, yeah, we're well, trying to have move over, right? That was described by the people who had witnessed the attack that night. And one witness actually recalled seeing something really? white underneath yeah. the hood. And as you can see, really? there's red on the inside of the hood. And it's definitely pretty bright. Now, Ken Dude. testified that he had... And the thing with the construction sites, it's not like they don't tell you at the last minute. Oh yeah, there's construction lanes closing. They tell you with plenty of time, usually a good mile, two miles ahead, so you know to make plans to move over, one way or the other. It's not like they waited until right before it happened. These people are idiots when they wait that long and decide they don't want to move over. See, I'm being passed by... I get not wanting to move over two miles ahead of the construction site, but... Don't wait until the last 10 feet. That's Another just stupid. 18 wheeler. Oh, we gonna have a stupid 18 wheeler right. against another stupid another 18 the wheeler. Freeway. I slowed down. He never sped up. up. So now I'm being forced to move over to let him in. Signal on. Over. As you can see, he would have ended up okay, right next to me. As soon as I can, I go back to my lane. And all is well, right? Right. Nope. Well, at least that's what I thought, until I hear someone honking. This guy right here, flipping me off as he's passing by. It happens a lot, so I don't mind. I don't pay attention to him. We're going to break check with the trailer. Uh, we're going to break check with the little U-Haul band. It's not even yours. I don't want any part of that. Go. But no, that wasn't enough. That U-Haul van isn't even yours, dummy. If that if somebody hits point, that van and it gets damaged, you have got to pay for it. Truck start going off. Oh my gosh. I slow down as much as I can. Move over, try to avoid the situation. Think u hauls going to want to let you borrow their, their, their stuff again if you do that? Dummy. He flips me off again. And then he pulls his phone. Points on his phone, you see? Both hands off out of the... Cat points at his phone. I don't know what he's doing. Can move back to the right because I have someone on my right. We slow down. You see, everyone else is going way faster than us. So he slows down. I see him recording me, taking pictures of me, taking pictures of my truck, of my trailer. I still see him, and then he's flashing his lights. He goes behind me. I don't know what was the purpose of that. Oh, probably to get your license plate. Oh, we're gonna brake check. Oh, dude, seriously, seriously, do not brake check that hard. Impatient pickup truck passes on right shoulder, 60 miles per hour to 30 miles per hour brake check by impatient duly pickup truck driver. Yes, I was speeding a little at times. Trucks were limited to 55 miles per hour in the state of California. Yes, I used my turn signal. No, I did not hold out in the left lane any longer than necessary. No, the pickup was not in the right lane when I began to move over, and I absolutely did not cut him off in any way. If you watch the lights, you see he came up on the right shoulder. <sighs> Come on, people. Where are we at? Indianapolis. Seriously? You got your little... Your little Mustang? You gonna brake check a truck? This stupid idiot is very lucky I was with an empty trailer. That's true.
the heavier the load, the harder it is for these trucks to stop. Just know that, people. And then when you brake check like that, you are risking serious damage, if not injury, and death. And the trucks will get by most of the time with little damage unless they flip. Oh, was that a cop? Police misuses lights. This is why I don't move over. Did that cop honestly flash his lights to get over? Dude, now that's a misuse of the emergency signal. I've seen videos where people claim turn their lights on to pull somebody over is, is a misuse of the emergency signal. No, it's not, but that is a misuse of emergency signal. Cop using his car to get where, get where he wants. Dude, why is the right signal on? Turn your signal off! Come on. You. You. You're not a cop, huh? Can you travel in the right plane? And, uh, I guess some states you can. A lot of states are starting to stop cop, stop cops, stop trucks, semis in particular, from riding in the far left lane because they have a max speed limit in the far left lane is generally not supposed to be a lane you stay in anyway, although most people do. It's supposed to be a passing only lane and then you move back over. Fuck. Honestly, dude wants to get rammed. Most of these people do. Oh, now we got our hazards on. Why don't you move over, truck? There's anybody next to you? Can you move over? Like, why are you even messing with this dude? Sometimes these truckers don't make any sense. Unless there's somebody right next to him and he can't move over, why don't you just move over? Why do you have to stay in this particular lane? You're just wasting time, dude. Oh, maybe that's why he wouldn't move over. Because he had a lane to get on. What in the world, idiot? Tell you what, though, truckers get to see, especially cross-country truckers, they get to see some pretty country. Some pretty scenic sights when they travel. Well, I mean, even local ones, I guess, that live in that area, but, um... Dude, seriously, come on! Stop brake-checking the semis! They cannot stop like you can! I know a lot of them want it because they want to get hit so they can get the insurance, but that's an insurance scam. You're an idiot. Did you not give him enough room? He either didn't realize that the lane was he was in was ending or he thought he had more time. As you can see in the video, there was a car on our left so we couldn't move over. He didn't turn his blinker on until we were already next to him and he ran out of lane. This obviously pissed him off. Oh, so now we're over there. Okay. Dude. Really? Oh, so now you're gonna cut him off? Get even, you're gonna cut him off? So after he runs out of lane, he gets pissed, decides to run us out of our lane by trying to wreck us both. Rage, rage, road rage at its finest. Come on, people. Seriously. <laughs> and then he stops. So after all the stupidity, he ends up broken down a few miles later. Instant karma. Come on now, people. Cool See, truckers are idiots, too. Saying, so yeah, don't do that. I recommend just <laughs> Why are you gonna get in front of a truck and slow down? Prius had some big balls. Why? Oh, Dallas. I hate driving in Dallas. Just saying. Hey, what's going on now? What are we doing? Oh, okay. We're gonna brake check. We're gonna brake check. Got it.
Looks like their bumper's already messed up, so it looks like they're looking for somebody to hit. Their bumper, yeah, their bumper's already messed up. Their bumper messed up, or is it just the way it's supposed to be? It looks like it's messed up. So they're clearly looking for someone to hit them. So they can get the insurance. These people get the insurance money and then don't get their car fixed. Yeah, this person's clearly looking for insurance scam. I think that bumper looks messed up to me. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but the bumper looks messed up. So they're clearly looking for somebody to hit. This looks like some looks like some dents in that bumper already. Here we come again. I'm not done with you yet, buddy. I'm gonna break check you some more. Dude, seriously, knock it off. This is getting old fast. <coughs> that was getting old fast. Careful, dude. You almost lost control of your car. Whoa! Dude! Camera! Look at that! I was doing 72 and a 70 passing the pickup when this douchebag decides to risk his life. Anyone able to find out what state that plate is registered in? He just hit his brakes in front of me. Dummy. Look what they're like, camera! <laughs> A lot of these big rigs have gotten cameras, and that's smart. If you're someone who's prone to getting in accidents, whether you're at fault or not. Whoa! Dummy! Even big rigs are stupid. Um, I would strongly suggest getting a dash cam, whether the accident's your fault or not, because it'll point blank tell tell the police, insurance, and the other driver who's at fault when they try to blame you if it wasn't your fault. So he was riding my tail impatiently as I was passing another driver, and I was not able to get back over because he cut that driver off in the space I was giving him when I was passing. Then he got up next to me so I couldn't get over. Then proceeded to cut me off and slam on the brakes. Dude, this is a full-on run-on sentence. Have some periods. Just saying. My truck was at 79K, 160 pounds, full load of crated granite. Ooh, granite. That's heavy. The whole thing happened because of someone else's selfishness and impatience. Some drivers say I shouldn't have been in the left lane, but the left lane is for passing, and I passed another driver in the second from the left. That's what it's for. We were two lanes from the left because we were exiting. Dude. Periods. Just saying. Periods. I mean, at least you use commas. But maybe replace some of those commas with periods, because that's a whole one on sentence. Is that a cop? Ooh, sheriff. Let's see if we get some karma. Heard honking before I got into the highway. They continued behind me all the way to the officer at the end of the clip. The officers are there. Dude, they can only go so fast. Especially in a narrow, built-up construction area like this. Still honking. They can only go so fast, buddy. Still behind him? What the heck? Dude. Find a new route. Go into a gas station. Take a breather. Get a drink. Get a snack. Get a Snickers bar. I swear, some of these drivers probably need a Snickers bar. That's probably what they need. They're hangry. Here comes stupid. <laughs> 
Dun 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 dun. dun. Why would you do this? There was plenty of room exactly. There's plenty of room in front of the truck. Why do you gotta get over that fast? 70 miles zone, I'm at 68. Here comes Zippy the RV. <laughs> Zippy. <laughs> hey! Hey! Dude, don't know what drug this lady was on, but she's a special kind of stupid playing games like this. Shit. Why? There's plenty of room on the highway. Why are you doing this? Yeah, freaking blind her butt. That's right. Leave your brights on. Blind her. Those brights are bright on trucks like that. Right check. I'm gonna speed up. Clip. He's gonna try. Okay, she's getting over there. Do you have enough? Do you have another stupid semi driver? What the heck are you doing? What's nowhere near you? Why are you getting in the shoulder? I'll cut this driver off and go to the bathroom. That's right. To the east. Dude, why are even semi drivers are stupid at times? Like seriously, the super trucker cut me off wide angle lens and brake checked me in the rain while I was trying to pass this other guy. My truck is governed to 67 miles per hour, so I couldn't go any faster, and this clown decided to endanger everyone behind us. <laughs> I mean, even semi drivers can be stupid. Seriously, why? Why are we this stupid? Anyway, that's my latest dash cam for truckers. Um, just don't be stupid with truck drivers. Just get around them and go about your business. There's no need to play stupid games with trucks. It's not worth the insurance payout you may or may not get, especially if they have a camera. Like, and that's assuming you survive the encounter. Um, so anyway, everybody take care. TJ Horsecall riding out.